Ah, uh, the morning has finally come. As you can see, the sun's going to start to break above the mountain and shed the valley with light. I had a really good sleep. It didn't get as cool as, as I was hoping. I was expecting the cold, crisp mountain air. But it was cloudy out today, and I figured it was a good time to set up some time lapses. The morning was nice and calm. Set the drone out, try to see where the cows go. As it turns out later on, I discovered the cows kind of follow a trail. They kind of do a loop throughout the whole day. The smoke had more so blown away, so it gave me an opportunity to get the drone out in the sky. It looked like it's going to be a beautiful day. I haven't gold prospected this area. I checked a few spots throughout the years, but the lost lemon mine is supposed to be in this area somewhere. And people have been searching for it for over the past hundred and some years, and I figured while I'm here and I'm parked beside a creek later on in the day, I'm gonna go see if I can find any trace of gold in this area at all, which might tie some truth behind the story of the lost lemon mine. Good morning, everybody. Looking like a nice morning so far. It's seven o'clock. Make sure that's open otherwise window will catch on the side 67% I will use quite a bit so it was cooler in the evening we we're finally able to get this down to temperature which we we're supposed to be at <sighs> breakfast 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 I think we're just having muffins for breakfast, but I had got this coffee maker a while ago. Never had a chance to try it out yet. I think it'll work perfect on here. I just find it takes so long to heat up water. Something like this, I can just plug into my EcoFlow Delta. That's a pretty short cord. And brew some coffee in the morning. I think I'll run some water through it just to flush it out. Oh yeah, that thing uses a lot of juice, eh? 630 watts. Flushed it. Let's make some coffee. Big question is, do I have any coffee left? Oh, I do. I certainly do. Oh, Jesus. Shut her down. It scared me. 
to close. Let this thing operate. There we go. All right, let's brew some magic. In this flat light, generating a measly seven watts. At least I got my coffee. MJ, are you awake? After you snored all night, kept me awake. And then the cow started yapping in the morning. Got my water purification right here. I haven't used in a long time. I'm gonna fill up a couple bottles. Oh yeah. Look how clean that is. <sighs> Tastes good too. I don't know where I'm going to get some samples from. I mean, it is cold. This is rockier than hell. I'm just gonna walk down a little ways. It's like a gravel bench. All right, down here. Cows were here earlier. Turn some shit up. Take some loose crap from the top. Freeze my Jesus, that's cold. Can't feel my feet. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Four specks. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna take another sample. Take another sample. Shut her down. Maybe the cows bring good luck. Whoops. Oh, one speck, two specks, one right there, one right there. Two pans, two pans found gold, both pans. Dutch Creek does have trace amounts of gold. Tip it in. Oh, yeah. Okay, tilt at a 45 degree angle. 
put in the water. Kind of, yeah. Oh, see, you didn't. You didn't swish any out. Oh, see, was it closer? You kind of go like, kind of go like that. Shake it to the bottom. Oh, you gotta tilt your pan and shake it. There you go. Yeah, MJ even found her first speck of gold. Yeah, you feel happy? I do. Yeah, there you go. I feel rich. <laughs> This is a privacy shelter. Does it have the instructions? Good. All right, after trial and error, got the portable shower set up. Got the shower and the pump. Darn thing blew over. Had to throw some anchors in her. Bought this last year. Never got around to using it. MJ's not really too sure. After a day of camping, being in the sun, nobody wants to smell swamp balls or swamp bass, right MJ? Do you want to smell swamp balls? No, it's not that smell. What are you trying to say? I fart a lot? Jesus. She fed me something last night. It gave me horrible gas. You get the but it was payback. She was snoring all night. Snoring. Well, the shower was a success. What do you think, MJ? It's a keeper. It's a keeper? The shower was the easy part. The fun part is after a couple hours, let this little tent dry, then try to figure out the magic and how to fold it, get her back in the bag. You know how it is, you fold it flat, lift up the two ends, put your foot on it, twist it, something crazy. Always make it sound easier than what it really is. Can't get mad and burn it because we can't have a fire. MJ's passed out sleeping, so fold. Pull net side up, full tent in half. Grab the sides of the net with one hand. Okay. Pull net side up. I don't get it. I really mean. Like that. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that, we did it. That's pretty painless. I remember that last one I had. It seems to be like a nightmare to do. Well, packed away the solar. As you can see, the whole day has just been cloudy. Not very good for solar. I've only been able to maintain about 43, 44 all day, so I just plugged it into the cigarette lighter or the accessory adapter. It's giving me 71 watts coming in, 33 going out because the cooler's running. I'll let it run for an hour and I should have enough battery power to last the night. Been a nice day so far. I mean, it's nice to be able to see a lot of the smoke is blown away, which is nice. Such a beautiful spot, this one.
Well, looks like I see Aubrey. Right on time. Driving by. Oh, I think maybe he saw me. He's backing down. Evening setting in, starting to wind down. Get some burgers cooked. I think Aubrey's out for a stroll. He was kind of debating the whole way here whether or not to turn around and bolt. You guys remember from the last camping video, Aubrey shut her down. He did not have a good time camping. In the middle of winter, he was done. Chainsaw wouldn't start, not having a good time, freezing his balls off. By 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, packed up his stuff, he was gone. And there's the elusive Aubrey walking through the trees. Look at that, MJ, got tomato all cut up. Just don't have no sriracha, mayo. Aubrey's drinking some farmer's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the lantern set up, got my cigar. This is about a good hour and a bit burn, easy. Some music. Well, good morning. It rained all night. First time it rained in like two months. Cause I'm kind of glad it rained, but almost out of power, 14%. All because yesterday I didn't have a, a good solar day. So it's one of the drawbacks with these things. If you can't recharge and you're kind of hooped. Just getting ready to head out. Leaving it the same way we found it. No garbage. No litter. Well, that marks the end of the weekend camping trip. It was nice to get out. Needed to get out. Stuck in the city for too long. Managed to do a little bit of prospecting. Found trace amount of gold. Not enough to bring my sluice out and sluice some. Need to find a good spot where I'm getting about 20, 30 colors per pan or more would be good. But still fun just to, wherever you stop, just, you know, take a couple samples, see if there's any gold or not. But I'm telling you, after two months of not having any rain, it was nice to see some moisture, keep the dust down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. This is my pro tip, you come home, can't just soak, you need to dry it out, put it in the garage, crank up the heater, crank it up to 28 degrees Celsius, a couple hours later, tent is dried. Good to go, everything, everything I laid out, including my lawn chair, which was soaked to the bone, is all dry.